Welcome, dear friends, to the cottage garden. We decided this year to go with the Charles Dowding no dig method, and we will show you that no dig method from start to finish in this video. On Mother's Day in May, my husband took me to buy some plants. This is definitely one of my happy places. It is so beautiful, all the colors, the green, the life. I always seem to buy more than I should at nurseries. We also decided to plant espalier apple trees on our black fence and we ended up using the Ellen White method. The espalier trees had six varieties of apples grafted on them. We got everything home and started mapping out where everything should go. Trees, bushes, the flowers, the garden rows. I've been saving cardboard for months. Everyone helped to make this little cottage garden dream into a reality. It was fun planning it all. You don't know how many gardens I've started in my life. Even if I know I won't be at a place very long, I still plant because I believe in stewarding well and making your surroundings beautiful. Gooseberries are a must for my cottage garden. We really try to make sure not to leave any gaps in the cardboard.
When my daughter was breaking up the soil, they found a really old axe tight pick head. The little kids felt like archaeologists and that they had found treasure. It's so cute that no matter what we are doing, the little ones are never far away, always watching and wanting to help. You're probably wondering what the pipe is at the bottom. It's kind of an oxygen trap and also the rocks are a little bit of the same concept. Then you layer with all kinds of nutritious layers of organic materials. I will link a couple videos I watched online in the description box and hopefully that will explain the method in a little more detail. I had heard recently of a new way to plant fruit trees called the Ellen White tree planting method. It's actually a very old method. It's supposed to really be productive to the plant and we had to try it, always learning and trying new methods. And after a month in the garden, the trees seemed to be doing really well. The wood chips came from our trees that we limbed in the backyard and we used a chipper to make our own mulch. I bought a load of compost locally and thus began the process of layering our no-dig garden.
The biggest reason I wanted to try this method is to see how weed free it would stay. I have done a similar method with mulching. However, we dug many swells and raised beds and had a wonderful outcome, but this time around we thought we would forego some of the digging. It was a very hot summer and what you don't water dies. We had so many days over 100 degrees. All the videos and pictures are from the garden mid-July and we got the garden in late due to building it from scratch but it is doing very well. Thank you for joining me and until next time. <music>